Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my another new video. In this video, I will show you how to fix RPCS3 not opening or not launching error on your PC. So let's start. As you can see on my computer screen, whenever I try to open my RPCS3, so RPCS3 is not opening or not launching. So I try again, you can see RPCS3 is not opening. So I try again and again and run as administrator. So as you can see RPCS3 is not opening. So how we can fix this error for our RPCS3 on our PC. So let's start. Guys, I have uh, different solutions of this problem, so do not skip any part of this video. I will show you all solutions of this problem for your RPCS3. So, first of all, go to search bar on your Windows and type here percentage temp T E M P and percentage. Press enter or go to uh, this folder and delete all files from your uh, temp folder delete all files and folders up here this is first solutions of this problem delete all files and check this option and continue and close it and for more solutions i have a best second solution of this problem Go to search bar on your windows and type here task manager. Go to task manager app. So you can see all applications are running over here already installed in your PC. If your RPCS3 application file is running over here then you can close it manually. Right click and go to end task. But my RPCS3 is not running over here. You can see after closing off your RPCS3 from here, close it and restart your RPCS3. And if you're still facing the issue, then I have another best solution of this problem. Restart your PC and after restarting your PC, go to search bar on your Windows and type here Device Manager. Go to device manager control panel and go to display adapter and go to your GPU device you are using. If you have multiple GPU devices then you can disable one device from here. Do not disable more powerful GPU device from here. If you have a low GPU device then you can disable low GPU device from here like this. Right click and disable device and click on yes. But I don't disable my GPU device because I have only one GPU device as a GPU in my PC. So right click and go to properties and good drivers. And make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU device. This is big reason and main reason for your RPCS3 not opening or not launching. So I am using uh, all the station drivers for my GPU device you can see uh, 2017 so I need to update drivers for my GPU device if I want to fix the error for our PCS3 in my PC if you want to update drivers for your GPU device then go to update drivers and browse my computer for drivers and let me pick from my list so you can see all drivers available drivers for your GPU device already installed in your PC. So these are my oldest version drivers. So there is no new drivers, latest version drivers for my GPU device. So I need new latest drivers for my GPU device. So if you want to install these drivers, then you can install it. Click on next, but I don't recommend these drivers for your GPU device. 
I have uh, new drivers for my GPU so I cancel it and cancel it so these are new drivers for my GPU device so I will be back very soon after installation of these drivers for my GPU device in my PC and guys uh, one more important thing remember one thing while installation uh, drivers for your GPU device you need a clean installation check this option and click on next and media installer has finished so I close it and I close it and uh, I go to my device manager again and go to display adapter and right click and properties and drivers so you can see driver date so driver version drivers are up to date now for my GP device ok and ok now I reopen my RPC history so open you can see my RPC history successfully opened and launched so if you're still facing the issue then you can change your compatibility mod for your RPC S3 right click and go to properties and go to compatibility mod you can select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and change high DPI settings and check this option and select this one ok apply and run this program as an administrator and apply and ok and guys make sure you have already installed Microsoft Visual C++ 2022 for your RPC S3 open your Visual C++ 64 bit 2022 and run as administrator and if you have already installed your Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 and 2022 then you can repair it. Repair and if you did not install Microsoft Visual C++ in your Windows then you'll need to install your Microsoft Visual C++ 2022 and wait for some time over here as you can see setup successful now you need to restart your PC now now I try again to open successfully open so I hope you like this video if you like it then please subscribe and thanks for watching bye bye guys